The state of Kanu is in mourning over the death of elder statesman Alhaji Meita Masule as his body arrives from Cairo, Egypt to his home state of Kanu. <laughs> Prayers are observed. His residence in Kanu now serves as a mecca of sorts for sympathizers who come to pay their respects to their dear leader, registering their condolences to his family, the people and government of Kanu state. For the governor of Kanu state, he also commends his contribution to national development. This is a very big loss, not just for his family, all the people of Kano State, or for Nigeria. This is a loss to humanity, considering his influence. His legacy lives on. He is someone who spoke the truth and lived an exemplary life. His counterpart, the governor of Bochi State, recalls Dr. Meitama Sule's exploits as a leader in the United Nations Committee on Anti-Apartheid. In the United Nations, uh, he was the chairman of the Anti-Apartheid Committee, and uh, he carried uh, himself very well, which uh, led to the eradication of uh, the scourge of uh, apartheid uh, in Africa. For that reason, the late Damasani was a true son of Africa. His friends and associates eulogize the patriarch. He's a man of justice, honesty, and all that. And he taught us a lot of things by his capacity to talk and tell us always use of cooperation and understanding together. It will take a while for people to come, emerge, and be ambassador. Emerson in character, Emerson in, in, in terms of his articulation, Emerson in terms of basic philosophy, which allows him to be able to interact with people in spite of their cultures, their backgrounds, and in spite of what they think of him or what he thinks of them. Now the body of the elder statesman laid to rest. His position in Nigeria's history as a national treasure will remain his enduring legacy.